Good morning, everybody, from Soleftio, Sweden, for the 2013 IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships. Last day of competition here, and it will be the cross-country middle distances. My name is Randy Ferguson, and it's a pleasure, as it has been over the last 10 days, uh, to uh, meet you every morning for these events, and every afternoon or uh, very early in the morning, wherever you are uh, on the, the web in the, this uh, world. It's a pleasure to be with you on the, this last day a day that will be exciting as we've uh, seen all through uh, the competitions and we'll be starting today with the women's sit ski 5k the three-time medalist of uh, these uh, world championships maria Jovaleva will start things off she already has two golds and one silver and had it not been for a disqualification in one of her races, would have probably picked up uh, either another gold or silver there. However, they uh, will be uh, battling it out today on this 5K course. We'll also have uh, in the group uh, Colette Begonia of Canada, Andrea Escau, who picked up uh, another world title this week. Uh, and uh, wrapping things up will be Marion Martinsen. On the men's side, we'll be starting with Brazil's Fernando Roca. Uh, Alexander Kornico, Grigory Murigin, one of the revelations of these world championships, will be starting third as he's picked up also a few medals here. Kozo Kubo in the group of the uh, long distance world champion in uh, men's biathlon sit ski will be uh, starting also in uh, this uh, first group. Moving uh, down to uh, Chris Clabel, picking up uh, in the past world and uh, Paralympic uh, medals. Uh, has not been quite on par here uh, this uh, week uh, in uh, Soleftio, but we'll see what he can do. But he has a lot of competitions with Steiner Larsen, Zaripov, Petushkov, Ila Ludinov ready to go, and Roman Petushkov. Uh, I don't know if he has any space left in his uh, medal cabinet as he has picked up a ton of medals here once again this week. Zero degrees Celsius right now, and uh, the winds are not a factor, uh, almost a... Uh, head-on win, but uh, very, very slight. Nothing compared to what we've had over the last week or so. So here we have our course for the men's race. Yes, for the men's race, it'll be four times around this 2.5K loop. For the women, it will be a total of five kilometers, so twice around uh, this boot shape for the middle distance sit ski events. So we are just about to go here in Soleftio as our first athletes are getting ready. And we will see uh, very soon at 10 o'clock. So looking like uh, Yovaleva not taking the start here this morning. I thought I saw her down there warming up. Or, yep, here she comes off the back now, I think. So we are ready to go. So uh, racers making their way to the line. We see there Ludmila Vochok. Mayuko Eno, and squeezing up now, we should see Yoveleva if she is taking the start. So maybe not. So this uh, will be a chance uh, for someone else to maybe collect uh, a gold medal. We see Wilhelm Brem with the Florian Grimm now going out to, to cheer on their teammate Andrea Escal. Yeah, she will be in uh, this event starting fourth from uh, the bottom of the pack. And it's been an amazing uh, 10 days or so of competition. The people here in Soleftio doing an amazing job. A uh, great organization uh, and a great effort by the biathlon team, the cross-country team, and uh, the local volunteers. So thank you to one and all officials uh, and uh, also especially to our athletes who have put on quite a show for us here this week. We're just about to start, everybody. There we go. It is Ludmila Wojciak who will lead things off. So for Maria Jovaleva, it is a no start. Maybe keeping some strength for uh, the next event uh, for these paracyclists, which will be in Sochi. It will be the Paralympic test event, where we will uh, try uh, many things out, and we will put to the test uh, the timing, the transport, the courses. So that will be happening in two weekends. 
This is Mayuko Eno from Japan. Not seen her on course yet this week, so this is a first one for her. So with the withdrawal at this point of Yovleva, we're looking at 14 skiers. Vorami Seo. From South Korea. They will be hosting the 2018 Winter Games. Now we should have a coming up. A, a, yes, there she is. Another Belarusian. Valentina Shitsum. She is off. Fourth to start here. And as you can see, it has snowed once again overnight. Another two to four centimeters have fallen, so about an inch or so of fresh snow. Marta Zenulina now for Russia. Looking to uh, garner a few more medals here is uh, definitely the Russian team. There's just a Zenulina who is uh, the biathlon short distance bronze medalist from these world championships. And now for Russia, Svetlana Konovalova. And uh, she will want a bit of redemption for a uh, very difficult uh, biathlon event the other day where she missed three targets on her first attempt and pushing her back three minutes for it was one minute of penalty per target mix missed. And now this is Nadeja Andreeva. Off the four of the Russians. Four ladies from Russia in this start. Two from the Ukraine, one from Canada, two from Germany. And this is one of the women to pay attention to as she has been a top skier in this class for a long time. The Ukraine's Olena Yorkovska. Winning uh, the gold medal in the biathlon mid distance. Perfect uh, shooting for her during the, that event. Uh, Anja Vicker now. Silver medalist in the biathlon short distance for Germany. Taking the start number 10 here. And Vicker just off the podium in the cross country sprint event. Let's see how she'll fare here in this middle distance. 5K race for her. Fourth also in the biathlon long distance. Now Colette. Bagonia from Canada. And off she goes. And now only four more skiers to come. And Andrea Escal is now on course. Two-time world champ here at these IPC Nordic championships and also picking up a bronze medal in the team mixed relay yesterday. And number 14 here will be from the Ukraine, Ludmila Pavlenko. 
So we'll have one more skier to come after that. As uh, there is a uh, no start for Porcelato. <laughs> and there goes Ludmila Pavlenko. For the Ukraine, it has been a very, very rewarding world championship for them too. Pavlenko uh, finishing fourth in the mid-distance. Uh, in the short distance, I should say, by Athlon. Uh, finishing fifth in the uh, sprint event of cross country, as we just saw Marian Martinson, uh, the IPC uh, current uh, world ranking leader. And we uh, will have uh, the first athlete come through the stadium here at uh, kilometer number 2.5. So as you can understand, this is two laps of uh, this 5K race. For this 5K race, each lap 2.5 kilometers. So the first portion relatively uh, flat, then there's some uh, climbing. And the last portion as they come back into the stadium is very, very hilly. So it's up and down, up and down, and they actually have to uh, ski back uh, on approximately 500 meters of uh, very slow rising terrain. So Ludmila Wojciech will set our reference time after 2.5 kilometers. have a good visual on her as she makes her way now into the stadium. The time will register very soon as we see it counting down there. Seven minutes, 40 some odd seconds should be the time for Wojciech. Seven forty-two oh is the time. And we see our next skier coming in now. It's Marta Zenulina. So she may have caught up already to Eno and Seo. And also she's from Belarus. So hopefully for these athletes, the... Uh, Weather won't change too much as we're in rising temperatures. And especially when you hover around that zero degrees Celsius, that's where it's a bit tricky for the wax technicians. So you want to have it either a little bit over or a little bit under, but not hovering around that zero. It is minus one is what we have at this point, but that can vary easily depending where you are out on the course. So Zinulina here will definitely be taking the lead. Let's just to see her time and what type of lead she will have. So the time to beat uh, the first time through here, set to by Wojciech is 7.42.0. So no, it looks like Wojciech uh, will uh, be still in the lead. Don't forget there is the uh, percentage of factoring depending on the athlete's class. So Wojciech being an LW11. Slightly more impaired by her disability. She, her score or her time will count or be factored by 94%. So hence the reason why she is uh, in the lead. Zenulina is LW12. Her time counts 100%. So her, the time she sets 749.4 is what will stand. So she's 7.4 seconds behind. And now Wojciech's uh, countrymate. Uh, 
She just came through in a time of 8.00.9, but just four tenths of a second faster than her in third place right now is Svetlana Konovalova of Russia. Nadeja Andreeva coming up now. Let's see what her time is. She's be looking at a fifth place presently. 20 seconds off the pace. And she is an LW12 skier, so you'll understand that her time is 100%, so no factoring. So the time she sets is the time that shows on the board. Now, Yorkovska, she's one of these athletes we need to pay attention to. Coming through here in sixth. LW12 factored in at 100%, so her time of 8.12.4 is what stands. And a lot of people ask us, why do uh, they create these percentages? Well, it's uh, in view to create, first of all, a large group skiing together, but it is mainly to create a level playing field. So based on the uh, athlete's handicap, we are able to, uh, with a few years of studying, don't worry, there's a lot of research that has gone into this. Uh, they've established these percentages that now allow the officials and the classifiers to uh, determine uh, with a lot of fairness uh, the uh, level of competition or the class that is given to an athlete. So it doesn't mean that you cross the line the first, it's that you uh, ski as fast as you can, and after the factors, you will know the result. Now, Anja, Anja Vicker uh, passing right now, Borami Seo from uh, Korea. We just saw Mayuko Eno come through. Eno is uh, sitting in seventh, but here come the two Germans, Vicker and Eskau. This will be a decent time for Vicker. She is sixth. Right now, 27.1 seconds behind. And Andrea Escau has moved into first place as she has just posted a 7.41.4. So Andrea Escau is in the lead as Voramisio is in ninth. One more lap to go. Once again, 2.5 kilometers per lap. And most of our competitors are already on lap number two. Coming up right after, we will have our men's middle distance sit ski event. And that will be 10 kilometers, so four laps, as we now see Colette Begonia of Canada. And also right behind her, that is Ludmila Pavlenko. Escau winning already an event this year in uh, Vukati. And she had this woman to, woman to contain, Marion Martinson. And uh, Olena Yorkovska finished in the third. So we're going to now just being passed by Pavlenko. Here comes Martinson from Norway. So it was a very close race. Uh, for silver medal in Volcati as Martinson led by only two or 1.6 seconds over Yorkoska and Yorkoska just beat out Pavlenko for a bronze by less than three seconds. So our official standings after 5k, Eskau has a six tenth of a second lead over Wojciech and uh, behind her is Marion Martinson, who's just 6.6 .6 seconds behind. And Marta Zenulina is in fourth, eight seconds behind, but still very, very close. Only 20 seconds separating eighth and first place. Our first skiers are now coming in. They will be completing this 5K journey. 
And uh, the first one we will see coming over the line will be Belarus's Ludmila Wojciech. She will set the reference time. What will it be? 14 46 4. So that is an interesting time. Don't forget, she was second after 2.5 kilometers, only a few tenths of a second behind Andrea Eskow. Six to be more precise. So this uh, is uh, gonna be an interesting race. Escal will come much later. What uh, will uh, Marta Zenulina be able to post here? She was fourth after kilometer 2.5. Has she really set uh, that motor into gear? And hopefully for her, she'll end up on the podium. Things change very fast. The first lap is almost uh, not a warm up, but getting into the zone. And once they've hit that zone, that last 2.5 kilometer is extremely fast. So here comes Zenulina going for the inside track. Let's cheer on everybody. A lot of people from Seleftio out here today. Bring Zenulina to the line. This will be her last race of these world championships. She'll be factored in at 100%. Let's see what her time is as she's making her way up the hill. Time to beat 7.42. Mata Zenulina coming to the line. There we go. The time, 15.07. So no, the 14.46.4 of Wojciech stands. And uh, losing a bit of time on the second lap was Zenulina to Wojciech. She is 21.5 seconds behind. So the time to beat 14.46.4, belonging to Ludmila Wojciech. Here comes now Svetlana Konovalova. Yes, she was sixth after the first 2.5K. So Konovalova looking at a third place right now, but it is very early in this race. A lot of fast skiers still to come. So right now, Ludmila Wojciech, a 14.46.4, and that is the time to beat for gold. Here comes Nadezhda Andrieva for Russia. Was eighth after 2.5 kilometers. Has she been able to pick up the pacer? We will soon find out. It is a time of 15.18.7. Good for fourth right now. Right behind her, we'll have Valenciana Schitze. Valenciana Schitze from Belarus. A time of 15.25.5, sitting in fifth right now. And watch out, here comes Olena Yurkovska. Yorkovska was 10th, definitely not where she wanted to be here. And uh, she is staring at a sixth place right now. And not uh, seeming uh, too happy with that. Uh, more of a long distance uh, performer, it seemed. A very, very good biathloner also is uh, uh, Olena Yorkovska. Still a very good uh, performance for here throughout these world championships. Uh, she's picked up. Uh, a few medals and titles. And we should see the lady who is giving Wojciech a run for her money make her way now into the stadium. And I am talking about German Andrea Eskau. As the men are now off, we just saw Rando Rocca take off. And she is still motoring right now. Andrea Eskau from Germany. Looking at possibly picking up another world title here today in Soleftio. The German coaches cheering her on. The time to beat for her 14.46.4. The lead she had at lap one was only six tenths of a second. And now this very difficult steep climb for the Sitzgears right to the finish line. 
They are going to take it here, but uh, this is looking very good for Andrea Escal. This is going to be a very good placing for her, and she is first, 14-29-5. Andrea Escal of Germany taking the lead away from Ludmila Wojciak by 16.9 seconds. Now, Marion Martinsen, who was third after kilometer 2.5, has really picked up the pace here, just passing Anja Vicker in the last moments and also overtaking Ludmila Pavlenko. There she is, number 15, Marion Martinsen, the time to beat, 14.29.5. And that will not happen here as her time already beyond 14 minutes 40. Will that be enough for bronze? This is going to be close. Watch out. And it is actually silver. She has just squeaked in by four tenths of a second in front of Ludmila Wojciak. Anja Vika, 15.40.5. So silver for Martinson at this point. But that was just by four tenths of a second. Ludmila, Ludmila Pavlenko now. 15 to 12, that is fifth. So fifth place for Ludmila. So three more skiers still out on course. And a nice battle here between uh, Colette uh, Begonia and uh, also Mayuko Eno fighting for the tracks. Oh, uh, Colette uh, just missing her entry into the tracks, which enables Mayuko Eno to go by her. Now, Colette set up in the second set of tracks here. This is going to be a nice sprint to, to the finish. Eno was at 13th after the uh, first 2.5. Colette looking at 11th. And they will give it a last little push here up the hill. Japan and Canada going at it here. Eno ending up 16th in Volcati earlier this year. And look at the power, the exertion here in these last few meters on this very sticky snow. There goes Colette Begonia for Canada towards the finish line. And what will be her time today here in Soleftio? We are looking at a time of 15, 56, 8. She is 11th presently. And now Eno making her way to the finish line. A last few pushes and she will be ending up 12th with a time of 22.028. And we now have a visual on our men taking the start. Martin Flag now. As we will welcome in the very soon our last competitor in the women's race, Vorami Seo, who is uh, just a few meters from the finish line as the fans are cheering her on here, completing uh, her competition at these IPC Nordic World Championships. Mihailo Chachenko at the start for the Ukraine. And the crowd really cheering on here for Vorami Seo from Korea. Giving it all she's got. A beautiful performance on her part here. Right to the finish line. And she will be coming in with a time today of 21.004. 12th for Vorami Seo from Korea. Congratulations. And we'll now move to our men's race. And on screen, we just saw Jeremy Wagner taking off for the United States of America. So 48 will be the number of our last skier out. That is Ramil Ilaludinov, also the leader of the IPC standing. So officially, Eskal, Martinsen, Wojciak, gold, medal, and bronze in the women's 5K middle distance Sitski event.
And back to the start with our skier from Belarus. This is Dmitry Laban. And that sound means go for Laban. Laban picking up a 10th place in Vukati earlier on this year. Off we go with Alexei Baichenyuk from Russia. And what a world championships it has been for them. They are uh, prepped and ready, fine tuning for next year's games. Al Kozo Kubo ready to start the world champ biathlon long distance. Uh, Winner and also uh, multiple uh, podiums for him here at the World Championships. Off goes uh, Kozo Kubo. He picked up uh, a fourth place earlier on this year at the event in Volkati. And also fourth at the event uh, in Cable, Wisconsin, but what uh, he'll be able to go home with is that world champion title. Andrew Soule now from the United States of America, off to a blistering pace here at the start. Grigory Murigin will now set our first reference time at kilometer 2.5. So Murigin, uh, really one of the uh, revelations of uh, these world championships for Russia. 6.41.0 is the time to beat. Murigan was part of uh, that uh, gold medal team in the Team Relay Open class yesterday. Oleksandr Kornyko from uh, the Ukraine setting the second best time. However, it's very early in the competition. There is our friend Fernando Roca from uh, Brasilia on his way here through the first uh, intermediate time. Check and uh, back to the start. We can see there Camille Rosiak taking off a bib number 38. And amazing how these athletes coming down the hills will uh, plant that pole to really get that extra friction, taking them around the corner, but also working on their balance, controlling their speed. And we'll see Sean Halstead from the US, from the United States of America, getting ready to take off as Robert Vator clocks a time of 47.5. That is, uh, or I'm sorry, 47.5 off the pace of Murigan. And his time is 7.28.5. So still the time to beat. Grigory Murigin, Robert Vatar is 47.5 seconds behind with a 7.28.5. Oleksandr Kornyko is 57.4 seconds behind it with a time of 7.38.4. That is our top three at this point. Enzo Maciello now picked up a, a medal already this week. And Roland Ruepe, his teammate coming in here to the 2.5K mark. So Holland is presently third, 52.3 seconds off the pace of Murigan. Off goes Igor Kuznetsov of Russia. Seven more skiers to start. A rough turn here for Enzo. Maciello. Romain Rosic maintenant pour la France. Et c'est le départ pour lui. Kishniak now just uh, setting the third best time. He's only 16.3 seconds off the pace. And Maxime Yarovi 
is nine seconds off the pace. So Murigan, Yarovi, Kishniak at kilometer 2.5. That is our top three right now. Still a lot of skiers to come. As we see uh, one of the men that could definitely win here today, Daniel Knossen from the United States. Silver just behind Ulaludinov in the Cable, Wisconsin. Was ninth during the event in Vokati. Martin Flag now coming through on his first lap of four and getting ready to start for Canada, Chris Clavel. And Flag is presently fourth. So Martin Flag is 21.4 seconds before, behind. In front of him, Sergei Kishniak, Maxim Yarovi, and Grigory Murigin. That's the way they stand right now. Just going by Mihailo Chachenko. Chachenko is just in front of uh, Flag now in fourth place. Eric Fraser coming through for the United States of America. He is uh, sitting in 10th right now. At the start, Trigve Steiner Larsen. Someone who struggled slightly with his health earlier on this season. And uh, we'll see, he's been getting stronger and stronger over the last few races. So still, Murigan, Yarovi, Kishniak. So we've just been told that Irek Zaripov is a non-starter today. Jeremy Wagner will see his time here posted at kilometer 2.5. He is sixth right now. 7.24.7 is his time. And at the start gate, we could call him the king of Soleftio. He's picked up many championships, gold medals and some uh, other colors too, but the one that interests him is gold. This is Roman Petushkov of Russia. And he is a force to be reckoned with. He'll have a lot of competition, however, from his teammate and countrymate, Ramil Ilaludinov, who won in the cable and also was just in front of him by a few seconds in Volkati earlier this year. By Chenyuk setting the third best time at the 2.5K mark. So Murigan with a 6.41, Yarovi 6.50 is nine seconds back, and Alexei Baichenyuk is 10.3 seconds back with a 6.51.3. Your Kostyuk now going through, that's Yuri Kostyuk in eighth. So the wind slightly picking up here. Grigory Murigan now passing through at kilometer number five. He sets a time of 12.55.9. He had a nine second lead over Yarovi at the 2.5K mark, but we are still waiting to see uh, Kubo, Rozik, Knasen, Larsen, Petushkov, Ilaludinov. And there we go. Kozo, Kozo Kubo has just moved into second place. 5.6 seconds behind Murigan at the 2.5 kilometer mark. Here comes Andy Soul of the United States. He's in 10th right now. 29.6 seconds off the pace. Yoheni Lukianenka, sixth. And this is at kilometer 2.5. Murigin Kubo Yarovi. And the only skier through at kilometer number five at this point is Gregory. Murigan. Alexander Kornico is uh, just uh, coming by here. And I think uh, Kornico is going to have a pretty fast time. No, it's 22nd, 15th. Bib number 22 is dropped to 15th. 
So Alexander Korniko from the Ukraine just going by. Now 38, Kamil Rozjek from Poland looking to be oh, around the 12th spot. That's exactly where he ends up at 38.3 seconds off the pace. Robert uh, Vator now for Poland. These uh, are coming in over the 5K mark. Still Murigan holding on to the best time. Vator is second, but ended up 15th after 2.5K, 17th for Korniko. Fernando Roca right now, completing his five kilometer of 10. He was 18th after 2.5 kilometers, 3.6 minutes off the pace. And now Maciello in his very recognizable style comes through at kilometer number 2.5 in fifth place. However, he's only 13.5 seconds off the pace of our leader, Murigin. And at the 5K mark, nobody has a better time than Murigan yet. That is 12.55.9. Kishniak is the closest, 39.5 seconds behind. So we are still waiting to see at kilometer 2.5 some of our top skiers, Rozik, Knossen, Klebel, Larsen, Petushkov, Ilaludinov. Voilà maintenant Rozik. Que sera son temps et ce sera un temps très respectable puisqu'il est deuxième. So Rosic going by in second place at the 2.5k mark, only 3.4 seconds behind Murigan. Where will Knossen sit? He is seventh right now, 13.6 seconds off the pace. Yarovi and Chachenko going by at kilometer number five. Also flag. Still no sign of uh, Larshan, Petushkov, Ilaludinov, but they will be coming soon enough. Believe you me, there's Trig Vestainar Larshan coming. Will he beat that time? That has been uh, there for a long time at the top of the standings. Grigory Morigan, 6.41.0 is the time. Let's see as he makes his way into the stadium for a first time. Kilometer 2.5 of 10 for Trigve Steinar Larsson. And uh, he's not even going to be close to Morigan. Let's see. He is 12th right now, 20.7 seconds off the pace. Chris Klebel now for Canada and right behind him, Roman Petushkov. This is going to be the time to follow here. Number 47, Petushkov. We will see as he goes by here, the power, every push just propulses him. He is 15.1 seconds faster than his country mate Murigin at the 2.5K mark. So Petushkov is on fire once again. Here comes Ilaludinov. What will be his time? The, uh, sorry, this is Baichenya coming through at kilometer number five. It's still Murigan Baichenya, but we know now uh, that Petushkov has been slightly faster at the uh, 2.5K mark. Here comes Ilaludinov now, number 48. Ila Ludinov is 13.7 seconds, I should say, slower than Petushkov. So it is Petushkov, Ila Ludinov, Murigan, 1, 2, 3 for Russia once again. But very much still in this race, toujours dans cette course, Romain Rozik, 18 secondes 5 du meneur, 18.5 seconds off the leader. Kobo Kuzo is 20.7 seconds off. Then we have from 6th place all the way down to 10th, 
only 30 seconds separating them from first place. So Petushkov, Ilaludinov, Murigin. And right now at the 5K mark, Murigin still in the lead. And Kozo Kubo coming by there. He was fifth after 2.5 kilometers. And right now trailing Murigan by 7.9 seconds. And he's losing ground to Murigan right now. So will we once again have the Petushkov, Ilaludinov, Murigan show going again? As Seoul now coming by in ninth at kilometer number five. Lukianenko, ninth. He is going through at kilometer number nine, right now. Uh, kilometer number five, I should say, right now, of a 10. So at the halfway mark, Yahuni Lukianenko is in ninth. But we know uh, very well that some of the top skiers are still to come. Now, the time for Alexander Kornico. And this will be for 7.5 kilometers. So, last trip through the timing zone here before he makes it to the finale. Murigan's time at kilometer 7.5, 19.09.3. And uh, still owner of the best time after 5k is Morigan however still Ilaludinov Rozik Petushkov to come we'll see if Kozo Kubo will lose any ground he did to Morigan Enzo Masiello Coming by. He'll get his time for this lap and for five kilometers. He was eighth after 2.5K. So I'll see what Masiello, he was eighth after 2.5K with about the same time difference with Murigan at this point of the race for him completing five kilometers. Kishniak now for the Ukraine also coming in. And he will be at kilometer 7.5. Has moved up to eighth place. Here, voici maintenant Romain Rosic. Kuznetsov still hovering around the 13th place. Roland Ruppe. Right around 23rd. Alors Romain Rosic se retrouve présentement troisième, mais avec Petushkov et Ilaludinov à venir. Sera relégué de nouveau au cinquième rang. So still with Petushkov and Ilaludinov to come. Rosic will drop back to fifth. Trigve Steiner Larsen now coming into this team, but not a factor uh, after 2.5 Ks. As uh, unfortunately for Trigve, he was uh, down in 14th place. But you never know. He's been uh, in some of the Bathlon races, started slower and moved his way up. Here comes Roman Petushkov up on his 5K mark. 
and passing it right now. He is in first place. He is 26.6 seconds faster than Grigori Morigan for 5K. Let's see where Ramil Ilaludinov will be as he will make his way now to the 5K mark. So Petushkov setting a time at kilometer number five of 12.29.3. 26.6 seconds faster than the time set by Murigin and 34.5 seconds faster than the time set by Kozo Kubo. Laban now coming through and he is crossing uh, the time zone at kilometer 7.5. And for him, it is a time of 20.064. That is a full minute slower than our than his leader at that point he has been uh, over the last few laps 17th moved up to 12th and Grigory Murigin has just crossed the line here for 10k setting the reference time of 25 25 0 and at the 5k mark Ilaludinov has now dropped into third so uh, we'll see now following Ilaludinov and Petushkov. Ilaludinov after 5K uh, is exactly seven seconds slower now than Murigan was. But Murigan giving it all he had. And we are at kilometer 7.5 and waiting for our leaders. So once again, Murigan has just crossed the line, completed the event. But after uh, 5K, it was put Petushkov uh, 26 seconds in front of Murigan. And uh, in third, Ramil Ilaludinov, who was now 33.4 seconds behind Petushkov. As uh, they are off, uh, those two gentlemen, to complete uh, the third lap, bringing them right up to 7.5 kilometers. As we see at number 32 there, that is Yuri Kushchuk. He has been 18th, dropped slightly to 19th at the 5K mark. We'll see where he stands here uh, uh, at uh, kilometer number 7.5. Andy Sol, 19th, gone up to 17th, and now is presently sitting in 8th, but with a few more skiers to come. And that is at kilometer 7.5. But the interesting thing to follow here will be uh, this uh, battle for the silver medal between uh, Murigin and Ilaludinov uh, as uh, Petushkov seems to be uh, skiing away with another world title here today in uh, this middle distance. A visual here on number 37, Yuani Lukianenka from Belarus. And at the 7K mark is a uh, tried to make his way back up to that 11th spot however with a few more skiers to come will probably drop back down to 16th where he was at kilometer five number 22 now making his way to the finish line alexander Kornyko of the ukraine and uh, in this event, he has been skiing around the 25th place. Was there after 5K, but will still be very happy to finish. There we go. Alexander Kornikko completing his world championships here in Soleftio. Now we have a visual here on 24. Robert Vatar, one of the... Uh, veterans of the Polish team. Batar will complete the event with a time of 28-34-2. Giving it all he had was Robert Vatar. And the last few pushes here 
for Sergei Kishniak. A very, very, a very, very steep finale for them. And Kishniak sitting in second right now. However, he uh, was hovering around the 13th position mark. Checking this time here for Ila Ludinov and Murigan as a few more skiers coming in here. And this is number 30, Mihailo Chachenko. And Roland Rep giving it all he had, completing in a 28.48. Petushkov going through now, kilometer 7.5, still in the lead now. And his time is 18.37.9. Murigan 19.09.3. Martin Flag completing his event. So once again, Petushkov growing his lead by about five seconds on the last lap. Trigve Steiner Larsen here on our screens. Number 33 here at the line. Dimitri Loban crossing number 34. That was Alexei Baichenyak, has hovered around the fifth place. Here comes Ila Ludinov. What will be his time at kilometer 7.5? And Ila Ludinov has dropped to fourth place. Now it is Kozo Kubo who is in a bronze medal situation right now. So at the 7.5K mark, we have Petushkov with 31.4 seconds up on Kozo Kubo. So it is Petushkov, Murigan, Kobo. And between Murigan and Kobo, there is barely 13 seconds. And that is the story here as Kozo Kubo coming. He is being cheered on by his coach and he knows that he may have a medal in his possession soon. Will it be bronze? Will it be silver? We will see very soon. Kozo Kubo making his way to the line, giving it all he has for a medal here today. Another medal performance for Kozo Kubo possible today here in this event. And right now, he will be second at the finish line and beating just, just at the 7.5K mark. Ila Ludinov, so Kobo looking at a possible, possible bronze medal right now. We will see if Ila Ludinov picks up as Petushkov will probably stay and keep the same pace, ending up in gold, which would be Petushkov, Murigan, Kobo. But it's not over yet. Andy Sol now pulling in presently eighth for the United States of America. So two more skiers to come in this event that could mix up the podium here. So Kobo cut Murigan's lead on the last 2.5 kilometers in half. So that was an amazing ski there by Kozo Kubo from Japan. Jeremy Wagner coming in in a final time of 29 to 12 6. Number 37 now, Johanny Lukianenka. And Lukianenka 
will cross the line here in this cross country middle distance event in 10th place presently. He was 11th at 2.5K, 16th at 5, and dropped to 19th at 7.5. But uh, that is uh, still a preliminary result as many skiers are still to come. Yuri Kostyuk now coming into the line and Kostyuk looking at 10th presently. He's hovered around the 18th place mark throughout the race. And our next race will be at 11.40 this morning. That will be the uh, cross country middle distance men's 10K classical technique race. And that will start at 11.40 this morning. Here we go with two more skiers coming to the finish line. Camilo Rosiek for Polska, for Poland. He will post a time here of 28.10.7. And Sean Halstead, a time of 26.53.9. So the best North American at this point, Sean Halstead. Enzo Masiello now coming to the finish line, being cheered on by uh, the Azuri. And this uh, climb for our sit skiers, a very difficult one, especially after competing for a nine point some kilometers. Okay, here comes Roman Petushkov. We will find out very soon what will be his lead here on the rest of the field. Looking for another world title. The king of Soleftio now on his way to the finish line. His final time in this middle distance cross country event will be 24.41.7. So that is 43 seconds faster than Murigan and 49.7 seconds faster than Kozo Kubo. And we're going to keep a lookout now for number 48 as Daniel Knossen comes in, in the, presently in ninth. Just behind his teammate Halstead, Eric Fraser for the United States of America coming in 22nd right now. Igor Kuznetsov is presently 14th. Here comes Trigve Steiner Larsen for Norway. And he's up into seventh. So. A slow start for Trigve, but still moving up. Romain Razik, quatrième pour la France à 1.31 de Petushkov. Tout de même, une belle performance de Romain aujourd'hui. Quatrième rang. Looking uh, to a good fourth place for Romain Razik. One more skier to come. That is still in contention here today. And that is Ramil Ilaludinov. Here he comes around the corner. Has he been made aware that he was, he had fallen to fourth at kilometer 7.5? Probably has. And just by the way that he's pushing on these poles, he is hoping that he can catch Kozo Kubo for a bronze medal. We will see very soon as the time to beat was 25-31-4. Will he have it? Oh, this is so, so hard. Out of the tracks is Ramil Ilaludinov. Here he comes to the finish line. And as you can see, it won't be enough for him today as he will end up in fourth place. So our podium today will be Roman Petushkov, gold medalist and world champion for Russia. Grigory Murigin, silver medalist, picking up another medal for the young Russian. And bronze medalist in third place from Japan, Kozo Kubo. So congratulations to all our skiers. And here comes Chris Clavel. Let's give it up for the Canadian, making his way here to the finish line. And a reminder once again that our next race will be happening right here at 11.40 this morning. 11h40, notre prochaine course. And that will be when our uh, 
10K Classical race featuring our men standing, standing men. And we'll start things off at 11.40 and 30 seconds precisely. So Petrushkov, Murigin, Kubo, Ilaludinov, Rozik is our top five. And Petrushkov, once again, another world championship title for him. And here we go. Here comes Chris Klebel from Canada, making his way to the finish line. Chris, who has been throughout this race, uh, looking at 20th. He was 22nd after 2.5K, 20th after five. And the same scenario at kilometer 7.5. Making his way to the finish line there. And uh, he will come in here. Number 16 in the red there is a uh, skier looking for classification down the line. Getting a time here today as Chris Clavel will finish here in a time of 28.12. Good for 21st in this event. So that completes our skiers on course here. So we have our final results for our women and men's Sitski middle distance. Andrea Escal, Marion Martinsen, Ludmila Wojcik in that order in the women's Sitski event. And for the men, Roman Petrushkov, Grigory Murigin, and Kozo Kubo are podiums for today. Escal starting off once again with a bang, as she did in the biathlon events. The three-time paracycling gold medalist at the Paralympic Games and bronze medalist at the World Championships for Paracycling was a force to reckon with today in these events cross country this time. She excelled in the biathlon early on this week and she picks up the win today here in cross country skiing. And then it was time for King Roman Petushkov to start here. This man has been absolutely stellar throughout these IPC Nordic Skiing World Championships. Missing the top spot of the podium only in one race he's taken part in. And uh, taking over from the great Shilov and Zaripov is Roman Petushkov. He will be definitely a bright shining star if he can stay healthy in view of Sochi. In uh, oh, just about one year's time. Actually, I think tomorrow will be the uh, one year to start. Thursday will be the uh, uh, one year to start. My name is Randy Ferguson, everybody. We're going to take a short break here uh, on the web. We will be back for 11.35 Central European time uh, for our men's 10K classical technique standing start. We hope to see you back here soon. Hope you've enjoyed this morning's uh, racing. We'll be right back at 11.35 for our next race.